In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to graph a logarithmic function on my math lab that has a vertical transformation. So the graph we are given is y equals log base 3 of x minus 2, and the minus 2 is not enclosed in the parentheses with the x. So since it's not in the parentheses with x, it is a vertical movement down 2. So select in your multiple choice options the option C, which says to shift the graph down and we have to say we have to type in what the function is so it says shift the graph of y equals I'm going to click in that box I'm going to type log for log now we want to get the base 3 so select the subscript tool type your base 3 and then I'm going to arrow to the right to get out of the subscript and then in parentheses I'm going to type parentheses x close the parentheses so shift the graph of y equals log base 3 of x down, so click in that box, and type 2. Check that part of the answer, and then we're ready to graph the function. So click the graphing tool button. Select the logarithm tool, which is the vertical orientation, and then click anywhere to start. It will automatically plot the original graph, which has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0 and an intercept 1 to the right. Now in this one we want to go to the box which has a vertical shift and we want to backspace over the 0 and put negative 2 to make it go down 2. And then if I click in the base box you'll see that the graph automatically shifts down 2 from its original position. Check your base of the log to make sure it matches what you had which is a base of 3. X out and save and check the answer. Now it asks for the domain of the function. So click in the box and the domain is from, is from the asymptote at 0 and then it goes right forever. So the domain is along the x-axis interval and it's your left and right limits. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to select the parentheses tool here and select in that first box and type 0 and then you can tab to the next option and then you want to select the infinity button. Make sure you're in the blue box and then you have infinity. And then check that answer. And then I ask for what is the equation of the vertical asymptote. So you can't type just the number. You have to type the equation whether it be x equals or y equals. And since this is a vertical asymptote it's an x equals equation and it's positioned at x equals 0. So check that answer. And then it asks us for the next part.